Hey everyone and welcome back to Joey's Retro Handhelds. I'm Joey and today we're going to talk about how to make PSP games look and play their best on Android with PPSSPP. In this guide, we're going to fully set up PPSSPP and then we're going to get advanced with HD texture packs, cheats, and more. So it's kind of a one-stop shop for everything PPSSPP. Let's start with the setup as it's really easy with PPSSPP. This guide is not going to show you where to get PSP games. You can check the link in my description for a video on that topic though. You're going to want at least a game or two if you're going to follow this guide. Okay, so to start, you're going to want to head to the Google Play Store and search for PPSSPP. There is a gold option available that's paid, and there's no difference between free and gold, it's only if you really want to support the developer and chuck them some money. So just go ahead and install whichever version you want and then open it. The first screen you're going to see is a decision of where to save your PPSSPP files. You're going to want to keep it as the first option, which is to create or choose a PPSSPP folder, because with the other option you really won't be able to access anything. So with the first one selected, click OK on the right, and now you want to create a folder on your internal storage and just call it PPSSPP. All of your files will be in this folder for easy access, as you're going to see later. Just click OK afterwards. Now we're on the home screen of PPSSPP, and we want to tell it where our ROMs are. So click Browse, and then navigate to the folder that has your PSP ROMs, or games. Once again, this guide isn't going to show you how to get PSP games. You can check my description for help on that. Once you find and select your PSP games folder, you should now see them all show up as icons. So that's great, it found them and we can play them. But first we need to change some settings, map controls and all of that sort of thing. So head to settings on the right, and these right now are the default settings, which you can adjust. For example, if you have a pretty powerful device, you could change the rendering resolution to something higher. So if you have a 1080p screen, you can do 4x, or if you're using a 4k screen, you can do 8x, and so on. Scroll all the way down and you can enable FPS counter and show speed if you want to see how your games are running in-game. Now let's head over to controls and if you're using a handheld and not a touchscreen, you can disable the on-screen touch controls by unchecking the box. Then you want to head into control mapping. At this point I would select clear all on the top left, and then you just want to go ahead and map controls for a PSP. So click the box next to the control, and use the buttons on your device to map it. Should be pretty simple. For some extras, for speed toggle, I like setting that to R2, and this is basically just fast forward. If your device does not have a dedicated menu button, you can map pause to a combination hotkey so you can get to the PPSSPP menu in game. Or you could just map it to L2, which usually works as well. If you do want to use a combination hotkey instead, just select allow combo mappings on the left and then enter a hotkey for pause. Back out after and you can head to tools and this is where you can enable retro achievements. Log in with your Retro Achievements login, and I would also make sure that you disable Hardcore Mode. Back to System now, and if you scroll down, you can enable Auto Load Save State if you want. This makes it so that it boots right into your save state when loading a game, which saves you some time. However, just be careful with save states as usual. But let's go ahead and enable Cheats so we can add Cheats soon. Now that we've configured everything, let's go ahead and boot up a game by just selecting it. If you push the pause button that you mapped, or menu button on your device if it has one, you're going to get the in-game PPSSPP menu. From here, you can save state, load state, and do a whole bunch more. For example, you can adjust settings from here if you want. However, let's say that the game doesn't run great, and you want to change the resolution or settings for only this game. You can select Create Game Config, and now it changes settings to Game Settings, and any settings you change in there is only going to apply to this game. 
Display layout and effects is where you can adjust the aspect ratio and rotation and things like that, but honestly I never ever touch this. Cheats we're going to talk about in a second, and if you're logged into Retro Achievements, you're going to see achievements here as well. Otherwise, as far as setup goes, you're done, and you can now play some PSP games. But now that we have everything set up to actually play those games, let's talk about some advanced things, and we'll start with cheats. There is an awesome GitHub with an updated cheats database that has everything we need. I have the link in the description, but it's easier for you to do this on the device. So head to that GitHub link, click the cheat.db file that you see, and then click the download raw button all the way on the right through the three dots. Depending on how it downloads, it might download as a TXT file like it does for me, in which case you just have to rename it and remove the .txt. So the final file should read as cheat.db. If you're curious which app I'm using for file management, this is Solid Explorer, which I highly recommend that you download. Now you need to move that file into the PPSSPP folder that we created when we installed PPSSPP, which is just right on your internal storage if you followed what I did. So head to PPSSPP, then the PSP folder, cheats, and you put the cheat.db file right in here. Go ahead and open PPSSPP, and if you jump into a game, push the hotkey for pause or menu, and you should see a cheats tab on the right. Then select import top left. You should now see a whole list of cheats for the game. You just have to repeat these steps for each game. So just load the game, cheats menu, and then import to see the cheats. Then obviously just enable any cheats that you want to use and have some fun. As with anything cheat related, some can and will break your saves or cause other weird things to happen sometimes, so just be aware of that. It's the risk you take for having god mode. Let's look at 60 FPS patches now, and the first thing that you're going to want to check is if the game has the 60 FPS patches already in the cheats file that we loaded, as most of the time it does. In the case of Gene Dark, which everybody yells at me for how I say this, I don't know, I forget how to say it, but you know what game I'm talking about. You can see there's actual several 60 FPS options here to choose from. I took a quick look and it looks like pretty much all of the games have their 60 FPS cheats available if it exists, but if you want a full list of games with 60 FPS cheats, you can check this forum post on the PPSSPP forums and it's linked in the description. There's also a video on that page that shows you how to apply those cheats at the bottom, but I'm pretty sure that they're all already loaded in the cheat.db file that we're using, so you might not need to do this. Lastly, we come to HD textures. Once again, the PPSSPP forums have an HD texture pack section with games and their packs, and we're going to look at Final Fantasy Tactics here. Scroll down on that post and then the download link is in their GitHub, so click that. Now you want releases on the right and download the source code zip file. I suggest doing this on the device, it's a large 2.5GB file, so it might take some time. Once it's downloaded, move it to your PSP ROMs folder where all your games are, just for ease of use. Now go ahead and open PPSSPP, and we're going to head to Settings, Tools, developer tools, and you want to make sure that replace textures is on. It should be by default, but just double check. Now we're also going to head to Final Fantasy Tactics and we're going to open the game. They state that the rendering resolution has to be set to 4x or above, and they recommend 6x. So just make sure that you're at either of those resolutions, and then you can exit the game after. Now in PPSSPP, click load on the right and then navigate to that zipped texture pack and select it. You can now click install and it's just going to take some time so be patient. Once it's done, click back and open the game. You're going to see that it says texture packs activated at the top to let you know that it's working, and you can now enjoy a high resolution Final Fantasy Tactics. Not every game is going to be as easy as this was to install texture packs for, 
but they all have instructions. For example, let's look at Persona 3 Portable. And you can see that while looking at the post, there's installation instructions. This one wants us to paste it to a folder that we don't have on Android, but we know where the textures folder is. So just download the pack and extract it. And you should see a ULUS10512 folder. Copy that folder into the PPSSPP PSP textures folder. Easy. Once you do, you can go and open Persona and you should see textures activated and you're all set. Should be pretty easy for you to add any texture packs that you want now. And with that, we're done. That's going to be it for this, the ultimate, best, most fantastic guide for making PSP games awesome on your Android device. Don't forget to like and sub to help the channel grow. Come join me on the Discord to talk about stuff. Support me on Patreon if you like my videos. And hope you all have a good one.